Trump. In Washington, D.C., more than a half a million people flooded the National Mall for the Women's March on Washington, many wearing pink hats, dubbed pussy hats. So many people turned out that by midday, the entire planned march route was filled with people. This is one of the protesters. My name is Sami Assad. I'm with the New Mexico delegation, and it took us 39 hours, two buses. We picked up passengers also in Oklahoma. We're very proud to be here. We came to voice ourselves, our opinions, our presence as one community, one sisterhood, to say no to bigotry, no to Islamophobia, no to xenophobia, and to stand for justice for every one of us. Every one of us, no matter our gender, our color, our race. And what's your group's name? Enchanted Uprising! <laughs> The New York Times reports Saturday's protest in D.C. drew three times more people than Donald Trump's inauguration on Friday. In New York City, 400,000 protesters poured into the streets around Trump Tower. A quarter of a million gathered in Chicago, hundreds of thousands took to the streets in Boston, Los Angeles, Denver, Madison, Wisconsin, and other cities. Saturday's nationwide demonstration was the largest anti-inauguration protest in U.S. history and ranks among the biggest mobilizations ever in the United States. It was also one of the largest coordinated global days of action in world history, with protests spanning every continent, including Antarctica. Massive crowds gathered in major international cities, including London, Paris, New Delhi, Sydney, Mexico City and Buenos Aires.